future Wildcats, I'm Juliana Marshall. Welcome to our first episode of Wildcat TV Junior. Every month, an episode will be dedicated to our elementary schools and will feature several schools in our district each month. This month, our main highlight is Thomas Oltzkin. Let's go see how our Wildcats are doing. One of the original elementary schools in Blue Springs, Thomas Oltkin, home of the Wild Kittens, is full of special students and special staff. I am so happy to be here at TUE this year. I feel so lucky to be at the home of the best teachers in the whole wide world. Um, they work so hard for kids day in and day out. Um, our kids are really, really special too. They work really hard to be caring and compassionate, to try their best every single day and use strategies when they're not feeling their best every single day. It's a really special place. Our community is amazing. And I hope everyone has a chance to experience what it's like to be a TUE Wild Kitten. It's evident walking around TUE that wild kittens are full of creativity and kindness, especially in the Kindness Club. So basically our goal in Kindness Club is to spread kindness around the school. And we like want to help people that like are new in the school. My favorite part about Kindness Club is that we make like fun activities and we give them to other people to make them happy. Um, I got this shirt from my friend Ryan's mom. She made it. It says for the V for be kind and kind down here. Be kind and I got it purple because purple is one of the school colors. Kindness is helping others when they need help and and um, just being there for them and being kind to them. Another special thing about the Wild Kittens is their love for veterans. Their annual Veterans Day celebration, complete with parade and a program, is always a big hit. J.C. Norris enjoyed walking with her uncle during the parade. He was my uncle and we walked around the whole school and I felt really nervous. They played music from the speakers and we walked down the hallways all the way back to the gym. The first graders sang some songs and we took pictures. It's a very important day to us. Also important to TUE is the dedicated staff. Um, so I think that out of all the buildings that I've been in, seen, even just visited, um, I've told a lot of people that the teachers here are amazingly dedicated to the kids. I think that that's one thing that really highlights this building. Teachers are so dedicated to the kids and they take their time and they put in so much extra work that people don't see. And the students? They're awesome. I just want to say that they're amazing kids. They work hard. Um, there are a lot of struggles in young kids' lives, in your lives, but I think that they work really hard. They're um, very loving. They're sweet, and um, I just love being here. Looks like the Wildkins are having an amazing school year so far. Now let's head over to James Lewis Elementary to hear an inspirational quote. Fifth graders from James Lewis Elementary School. My name is Lane Jones. My name is Oliver Stock. And my name is Miles Ray. You must tell yourself no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. There may be people who have more talent than you, but there's no excuse for anybody to work harder than you do. You get what you work for, not what you wish for. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thanks for those encouraging words, Supercats. They were much needed. Inspiration can strike when we least expect it. That is why it is so important that we have an outlet to display our creativity. In fact, Lucy Franklin has many students who love to get creative in their free time. Let's go see what they made. These amazing fourth graders from Lucy Franklin created clay food plates for a recent project. They drew a practice design for their favorite food, then created it out of clay, and finally painted their project with glaze. These tasty creations were created by Riley and Mirabella. My name's Mirabella. My name is Riley Hayes. So we used clay and we used like a uh, paint and we had to use three um, coats of it. And then that's how we got the color we wanted. And where did they get the inspiration for these great pieces of artwork? Uh, yeah, I really like McDonald's. Um, because sometimes I eat sandwiches, and I really like french fries, and I like blueberries. Back to you in the studios. Your artwork was astounding. Keep up the good work. Now for our word of the month. 
Our word of the month for this episode is affirmation. Affirmation is the action or process of supporting or encouraging. An affirmation I could give myself could be, I am intelligent. Now let's hear from some wild kittens giving us some affirmations you could use throughout your day. I am creative. I am unique. I am caring. I am awesome. I am a good friend. I am courageous. I am kind. I can do hard things. I am strong. I am a hard worker. Wow, those are some great affirmations. We encourage all of you watching to use some of them throughout your day, especially when you're frustrated or feeling down. Hmm, I wonder what Ava's doing right now. Ava here, reporting from recess at Thomas Altican Elementary, here to find the answer to a very important question. What's the best spot on the playground? What's your favorite spot on the playground? Uh, the swing. Swing. The swing. The swing, because you can swing up in a high ultimate moon. Um, the playground. The swing. Why? Can you get the swing? The slide. The swings. My favorite spot to play at uh, swings. Oh, uh, the swings. Why is that your favorite? Because you go high. Um, it, it, uh, uh, this light over there. Why is that your favorite spot? Because <laughs> it, it's like a jungle gym. And the swings. So what do you want to say to high schoolers that miss recess? That's sad. <laughs> like, like, if you do a recess, you'll be bored. With an overwhelming majority, it looks like the swings win. Thanks, Wild Kittens. Now let's send it off to our next anchor. Hey, fifth graders. Soon you will be enrolling for middle school and choosing what music class you will take. Let's get a closer look at what music classes in high school are like. Hey, fifth graders. My name's Mr. Bushy. I'm one of the assistant band directors here at Blue Springs High School. Uh, we're so excited to come and meet you here in the next couple of months and uh, help you select a band instrument to start to learn in middle school. Uh, you're going to have a lot of really awesome different options. Uh, all the brass instruments, woodwind instruments, and percussion, my favorite. Uh, in, once you get to the high school program, we take a lot of awesome trips together and we work really hard. Uh, the marching band is traveling to Indianapolis, Indiana to compete in Grand Nationals uh, with 110 other bands. So there's a lot of really fun trips we do and a lot of hard work and learning together. So we're so excited to come meet you here in the next couple months. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Mr. Layton and I'm one of the choir directors at Blue Springs High School. I am so excited to tell you a little bit about what choir is like at high school. Um, in addition to singing really, really fun songs from all sorts of different languages, uh, we have a lot of opportunities. We go on a lot of trips where we perform around the Blue Springs area and Kansas City area. In fact, this coming spring, we're going to travel to Orlando, Florida to sing and ride rides at Disney World and Universal Studios. I hope that you are so excited to join. I'm so excited to hear you sing soon. Hi, I'm Paige Munhank lewis I'm the director of orchestras at Blue Springs High School and Brittany Hill Middle School. Orchestra is an amazing opportunity for you to play a string instrument. We have violin, viola, cello, and bass for you to choose from. We get to go on trips. We've been to Disney World, Chicago, Texas. We also have a bunch of concerts and do a lot of fun events throughout the school year. And for all you younger elementary students, remember that one day you'll get to be a part of these awesome programs. At the end of each episode of Wildcat TV Junior, we will have a high school trivia question. If you know the answer to the question, have your teacher email it to wctvtrivia at gmail.com. The first class to email the correct answer will get a shout out in next month's episode. This month's high school trivia question is, what are the names of the two mascots at Blue Springs High School? Hold on, Juliana. Before we finish the show, here's some quick shout outs around some other elementary schools. Starting off with William Yates, I hope you guys are having fun at your fall parties today. And congrats to the second graders on a great performance. Next to John Nallen Elementary, congrats to the second graders on a great musical performance. And Mrs. Tolbridge, the school counselor, on being the Blue Springs School District Employee of the Month. Now on to Sunny Point. The girls on the run finished their 5K. Great job, guys. The third graders also finished their show, and the fourth graders are getting ready for theirs. Good luck, guys. Finally, on to James Walker Elementary. 
They just got new landscaping from Colonial Gardens and are preparing to move the planters to the gardening club. They also got a new music room, new parking lots, and new restrooms. They also had gratitude week last week. I hope you guys had fun. Last but not least, congratulations to these Spelling Bee School champions. That's it for our quick shout outs. Now Juliana can finish the show. Thank you for joining us for the first ever episode of Wildcat TV Junior. Each month we're bringing you a new episode and we'll highlight each school in the north side of Blue Springs. So if you didn't see your school today, don't worry. We will be around to visit you sometime this school year. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving break and remember, it's a great day to be a super cat, warrior, knight, leopard, wild kitten, bulldog, puma, and wildcats.